welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to work on the create form of students so the listing is kind of complete if you see on the screen however we are not yet there in terms of you know, like if i go to the edit screen this is empty and obviously if i hit the new student form it is still not showing anything but the best part of element is getting all these things into place is just so easy so we will hit those aspects of this application in this video so let's get started now filament allows you to control the form for both edit and add of a record or rather a resource with a very with one single configuration so i'll open php storm and let's go to apps filament and the resource file inside the resource file we have our form method and this is where all the magic will happen i'll open up the edit screen as well so that we see how things are coming up now in a student's entity what do we have first of all we have the name so there is something called as text input which is part of filament form components okay you can see this is the namespace and this is something which we will use in our form now if you see so this resource has this form method which is taking the form dollar form as an argument this is a part of the filament resources form which we are getting and it is returning the same form but we are running the schema method on it and we are defining certain things on the form so what are we defining we are defining the name okay and we also have a few more fields for example we have student id so why don't we add that it will be similar in nature which is text input let me duplicate the form we'll have address one address two and pretty much that's about it right yes so now if i go to my edit student page and i hit refresh can you see in just a few lines of code i have the entire edit form ready let's add a few validations as well so that you know that these are also kind of you know possible so we have required and let's just say length is it length components concerns can be right so length um how do you say maybe it is we'll start with two and see if you know kind of it works so right now i guess if i try to save these changes now you can see already i have a red star over here for the name because this is an require it's a required field and if i try to save it says the field name must be two characters so if you see without making any major code changes or without writing any major code we are getting so many things out of the box we'll just keep this as to 255 because that's the, the logical length that we would support um okay over here maybe you know all these are required the id is definitely required i'll also have the length in place and the length should be 10 maybe or is there a minimum minimum length of 10 is fine so i was going through the documentation and what i observed is generally it translates uh, to all the validation rules that are available with you know laravel so um, i mean basically what i'm trying to say is whatever are the rules available with the laravel validator right all of them are generally in place with this thing so you will not have too much of a problem okay and yeah rest is fine so now we can see that you know, these things are getting okay this is a wrong this length should again be minimum length um no 
maximum ha minimum length should be 10 and the max length can be 255 that's what we are defining over here and do i need a minimum length maybe i'll just keep this for the purpose of this tutorial so if i refresh now and do a it just gives me an error but if i refresh and if i now hit save changes okay the student id is not correct so dps maybe one two three four five six seven eight nine and if i hit save changes it's done i can see it says it's saved similarly why don't we add a new user so we have john doe student id ags this is the student id address can can be anything somewhere and if i now hit save i'm over here fair enough this is good but now we want to make two small changes one once the record is saved ideally it is now going into the edit of that particular record which is fine if you want that behavior but let's just say we want to change it we want it to go to the listing page rather than on the edit page so how do we do that well what i understand is the create page right the student record thing should allow me to override something so why don't we go through the code a little we have the create method there is some authorization happening before validate a hook has been called this is fine get the data from the form state one more validation hook has been called mutate form data before create okay that's fine again a hook got called so now basically what i understand is this package does allow me to do quite a few things by listening to this hooks that have been called through this application or through this code base right on every event which gives me a lot of comfort because if i want to tomorrow make any major change in the behavior of saving a resource for example i i feel we have everything in place to do that all right let's go ahead this is handle record creation that's done it's inside a try catch block which is fine um create not notification and send if i guess we you know we have notifications but then the most important part which is this redirect and what it is doing is it is getting the url from get url and this is part of this class itself protected function get redirect url it is expecting a resource get url so this is fine i guess we can change the behavior so why don't we go over here and do get redirect url all right um we said we need to we would want it to redirect to the admin so filament that dot dashboard i don't know what's the url like um what's on this terminal yeah php artisan route list i hope it will not fail it would actually sorry um okay and hit the command we have filament dot pages dot dashboard so we are looking for that pages dot dashboard with that done let's go to brave go to students add new we add jane do should be enough i guess somewhere anywhere oops and now if i click create i'm taken to the dashboard now again my mistake i could have taken it to the listing page of the students and ideally that should be the case let's see 
Um, so we have, okay, this is not the one. Uh, it's <laughs> another project which is running on filament. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I am working on a CRM kind of a thing with filament. So that's that's the project over there. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Admin slash students. So resources, students, index. Fair enough. That's what we want to do. Filament slash resources. Oops, what was it? Resources, students, dot index. All right. This is what I was looking for. Now, there's one more th small thing which I would ideally like to change, um, which is if you see the two records which I created are now on the second page, which is a bit odd because what I understand is that the sorting order right now is ID ascending, not the best one, right? So how do we update that? Again, the filaments entire code base is written in a way that it is very easy to kind of change these behaviors without you know, worrying too much. Let's see. We have breadcrumbs. Why don't we have some search for something called query? Get table query. So what does it do? It is calling a static get resource. Okay. And this is returning a static dollar resource okay that's a bit weird um and who is using this function so let's see will i be able to look at that um pop up get eloquent query maybe i'll look for this who is using this query pop, pop, pop. Okay, right, get model and then query. So this is what is happening, right? It's giving me a query builder instance. So then what I understand is let's get rid of this page, create record and things like that we have over here. Let me see what was the main function looking like. It's get table query. So I should be able to write or rather add a method um, there was a f um, yeah so in PHP storm if I do command n it allows me to get the list of the methods which I can override and this is a very handy way of looking at all the things which I can override and over here I have get table query yeah this is the one we have this and because this is a builder i can do order sorry order by descending id now if i hit refresh can you see now we are showing the latest two records that we created on the top of the table. So the idea over here is that you can play around with these things very easily by overriding certain methods which are available with the you know, parent classes. But yeah, other than that, things are so easy to quickly set up. All right, so that's about it guys. That's what I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you like it. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.